For our Catechism Connection this week, we're finishing up the second article of the Creed. If you remember, that talks about Jesus. Um, so the first article talks about God the Father, second article talks about God the Son, and the third article talks about God the Holy Spirit. So here we are finishing up Luther's explanation to the second article of the Creed. And last week we talked about all the good things that, that uh, Jesus has done for us. If you remember, he's purchased us from death and the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy, precious blood and with his innocent suffering and death. So this week we're reminded of the promise then that I might be his own, Luther says, Jesus does this, that I might be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity. This is most certainly true. So let's work backwards a little bit. It's Jesus's death and resurrection and the promise that he is reigning eternally that establishes his kingdom. Jesus's kingdom is established. Jesus came to this earth. He lived for us. He died for us. He rose again for us. He's ascended into heaven. He is coming again to establish a kingdom that will have no end. And we live in that kingdom even right now. So this is what Luther's saying, that I might be his own and live under him in his kingdom. That's the whole point of the second article, that Jesus has redeemed us from sin and death and the power of the devil, and that we live under him. We no longer live as slaves to sin. We no longer live as servants to the devil. We are servants of Christ. We live in his kingdom according to his promises, and he fulfills that in us, that we might be his own, live under him in his kingdom, and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness. And again, the truth, the assurance, just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity. His everlasting life is our everlasting life. He has given that gift to us, and he promises to be with us forever.